you know, when you're on Instagram and you see people with their children and you just nicely pet your little dog, like, <laughs> no, thank you, we're okay. That's me every day. Hi, hey, hello, good morning. Yeah, I was out of this bed and now I'm back in it. But anyway, hello, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Hissy Fit. Welcome back to my face. My name is Lauren and you should probably make sure that you're subscribed and also like this video because today we're having a doggy day. What is a doggy day, you might ask? Well, you see, I have kind of an emotional wreck of a dog. He is very sensitive. <laughs> but as you can tell, he is a very, very fluffy right now. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. And today he has a haircut. He literally gets depressed after haircuts. <laughs> because the first time it happened, I took him to a haircut and he got, I get him like a puppy cut. So he went from like this much hair to like this much hair. And I brought him home and he literally just hid under the couch and he wouldn't come out for like three or four days. And I was really concerned. And this was like a couple years ago. He's like five almost now. So we've been through this many times, but he wouldn't come out from under the couch. He was eating and like drinking, but I had to like bring it to him. I was seriously concerned like something was wrong. And like I looked it up and apparently it actually happens more often than you'd think is some dogs just get depressed. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. This is a serious condition dog depression. I have found the solution is I force him out of it So on days where he gets his haircut I also give him like the best day of his life, which is going to be today So yeah, we're having a doggy day to uh, hopefully cure my dog's inevitable depression that he's about to feel You know what's gonna happen. You hold on to your teddy. Yeah, also he has basically a teddy like you see that thing that gray piece of basically fabric at this point. I call it creature. Like you can see he holds it. He's holding onto it with his little paws and is literally sucking on it right now. He's disgusting. I don't touch that thing. And my stomach is literally aggressively making verbal sounds right now. So we're gonna go get some food and I will explain more along the way. Are you excited for your dog day? Oh, hell yeah, I'm excited for my dog day. <laughs> wow, you almost died. <laughs> You can do it! I'm too excited. So, are you so excited to consume food? I am so excited. Thor is excited to consume I need food. food. and I need coffee and I'm ready to be <laughs> You're such a dummy. So we're going to this restaurant around here that lets like dogs in and has like a separate dog menu. <laughs> and Thor is pumped. Um, oh, look at that puppy. So friendly. <laughs> I'm getting this. What are you getting? Are you getting that one? I'm still deciding what I'm getting. I have no idea. What do you want, Thor? Do you want Fido food or doggy dessert? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a hoe. All right, my dude. There you go. Are you still begging, even though you literally just ate your own meal? What a brat. Oh my god. How was your meal, Thor? Was it lovely and everything you ever dreamed to wish for? How was your meal, Dum Dum? It was also lovely. <laughs> and everything you ever hoped and wished and dreamed for? Wow. This could be you, Thor. <laughs> I want this one. <laughs> oh my god, it's the boneyard. <laughs> Thor, are you getting a treat? Wow, oh, this is quite the day. <laughs> so Thor, are you having a great day? Has it been wonderful? Because it's all gonna come crashing down. So we're at the place to get his hair cut. They are very fast and nice here. Because Thor, I mean like probably I've enabled a lot of it, but he really is just such a little, like you're a baby. Like you're a great dog and I appreciate you, but you're a wuss. So I know I'm gonna sound super extra when I say this, but I don't like taking him to larger groomers. Like I'm very specific about the groomer that I take him to, but that's what I mean. He gets so like traumatized by everything. So he really does not care for other dogs at all, unless they're smaller than him but he's only six pounds sometimes seven so that doesn't happen very often and he's fine with dogs like he just doesn't care about them like other dogs like we'll be walking and he just yeah okay like they'll be barking at him and like going at him and he's just like hey unless he's scared of them then he's like oh god hey like, i don't like taking him to larger groomers because what will happen is he'll just end up sitting in like a cage for like two hours like i like this lady that i go to a lot because Literally the last time it took her 45 minutes to cut my dog's hair. 45 minutes. Which was great. Then I know that like my dog just isn't like sitting in a cage for two hours and then it took them another two hours to cut his hair. There's no reason for that. I don't want, I'm, no, no. I don't want my dog sitting in a cage. And obviously, you know, you, you, you're gonna have to at some point and that is pot of life. I like this lady a lot is the point to my story. So 
I'm going to walk him in there now, so we are exactly five minutes early, but he's really just enjoying his life. Yeah, did you have a good day? Mangy little dog, like his Grinch feet is literally the worst. Like, what? Who is your mother? Who's let you get this furry? Wow, look at this unmade bed. And also, <laughs> what a clean dog. Ooh, do you feel fresh and fine? And ready for action? No, you're just gonna hug your creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I like your little Halloween bandana. Don't, oh, don't, oh, don't. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, get that thing. You. You're looking good. You're looking great. So pretty. So pretty. Whoa. Is that how you feel? <laughs> Okay, me and my mangy beast are now home, which also obviously means I'm braless and in a hoodie, because that's really the true meaning of home. But I thought, since Thor is now looking fresh to death, I have all these bandanas that I need to take photos of him in, because I have like a thousand of them, and I told this wonderful human that sent them to me that I would take him in photos. I think we're just gonna be the most extra human being in the world and go have a, a doggy photo shoot. Yeah, you didn't think I could get crazier, and then I did. Did you? Did you miss? <laughs> you miss? You're missing. <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. Wow, you are majestic. Okay, work it. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, we are back where we started. So I don't know about you, but I feel like this dog had the time of his life. Anyway, I went to that pet store earlier and my dumb self, okay, so I bought Thor this bone, which someone is very interested in. I was saving this because I thought you were gonna be more sad, but, huh? All right, my dude. Enjoy. So anyway, I go into this pet store and Thor is not a huge bone dog. He loves a good ball, does not care so much for a bone. And so because of that, I got the bone that was 60 cents because why would I spend more money on something he's not even going to enjoy? You spoiled brat. But my dumb self, I usually keep a couple dollars on me at least in cash and apparently I was out and so I get up there and was like oh crap I don't even know if they'll let me pay with a credit card for a 60 cent bone and the lady was like don't worry about it like just take it it's because it's gonna cost them basically more to just run their credit card with the fees and stuff that it's gonna be worth their 60 cent bone and I was like no 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 like I don't know I don't wanna like just take it that's terrible so I was like looking for something to buy but he doesn't need any more treats like did you see how much that dog ate today He's only six pounds. And we were kind of in a hurry because Ira had to go to work. And so I'm like running around like looking for something to buy. Oh, my hair looks crazy. And basically, so I additionally bought some <laughs> Earth Bath Totally Natural Pet Care Shampoo. It's hypoallergenic and fragrance free. Mm. So I got a giant thing of shampoo that I'll probably never completely use up just because, I don't know, it was really nice of them to just like give it to me, but I also just felt so bad. I was like, well, I'll need shampoo at some point. Yeah, that's our uh, dog haul. <laughs> so, I don't know, I feel like Thor is uh, doing pretty good. He doesn't really seem distressed. In fact, that looks like a smirk if I ever saw one. So I'd say we succeeded. But yeah, dog depression, my dudes, it's a real thing. Like, I read one time, and I mean, I don't know, this is just off the internet, but I did read once that when you see your dog after a haircut, like, if they tend to get a little emotional after haircuts, if you laugh at them, <laughs> which I've definitely done. Sometimes that can like mentally affect them. Like they can pick up that you're making fun of them. And so my sister came home and she started laughing at him. And I was like, Aaron, don't depress my dog. And she was like, whatever Thor, I'm laughing at you, not with you. And I wonder why my dog is so emotional. But yeah, I have a little wuss for a dog. And this video probably made me seem like the most extra human being that there ever was, but just wait till his birthday. I think I'm probably gonna end this vlog here, seeing as how it is late now and my dog is uh, still with us. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember to give this video a like and also subscribe because I'm here two times a week, which is two times 
probably too often, but thanks for sticking it through. Can't get rid of me. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, and until next time, ta-ta.